Hey guys, it's Anthony from Tweak Town here, and I have just ordered myself a new display, the Zeus uh, PB278Q. It is a 2560 by 1440 panel. It's going to become my new default display, and I will order two more of these in the next couple of weeks for some triple monitor goodness. Um, we're going to unbox it right now, live. Um, I haven't touched it, so I'm just going to open it now. I ordered this thing interstate from Melbourne. I'm in South Australia. It arrived this morning. Uh, Scorpion Technology hooked me up with it. Um, I've, I paid for it, but they just have amazing shipping. Um, really, really quick. So we're just gonna quickly open it up now. Take a quick look at it before I put it on my desk and start using this thing. I haven't had a high-res display for a long time now. Uh, I currently use the Samsung uh, S27A 950D, which is a 1920 by 1080 um, display with 120Hz. Um, I do love it, but I've needed some high-res display in my life, so here we go. <coughs> so we have the power cable, which is the normal kind of power cable. This will change from country to country that you order it in. Um, we have a monitor guide with a 3.5mm jack audio connector. We have, I don't know what that is, it looks like a part of the stand, uh, just the actual power um, connection that goes into the power, uh, power adapter. We have a HDMI cable, uh, this would be the HDMI 1.4, and we have a DisplayPort cable. The uh, PB278Q is DisplayPort 1.2 compatible. Uh, we have a DSOP cable, which is uh, old, I don't know why you would use this. And they've given us a DVR cable, dual link DVR cable, because this is a 2560 by 1440 panel. Um, it's a PLS panel. Uh, there are different panels available from Dell and Samsung and HP. So this is what um, Azus is opted to go with. And we have another power adapter in the box. And there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, just a, a Zeus notice for the, uh, for the VRP member. I don't think I'll be using that. We have the stand. It's pretty heavy. Feels solid, as you can see there. Not too bad at all. I won't put the monitor onto the stand today. I'll do that in a in a separate video to this. It'll be under um, this video. There'll be two videos that go into this unboxing article. 